hello, hello. So we're gonna start off by making ourselves even paler than we already are. It was winter time. And now we are going to use white foundation. You can also use white face paint. I chose foundation because shadows blend better. Using an adhesive of your choice and a flower of your choice, glue them to your eyebrows. I glued it a little closer to the front so that the shadow could blend up a little better. Using my finger and my white foundation again, I am prepping my eyelids for my eyeshadow, like a little bit of a base. Going in with a flat brush and a lilac colored shadow or whatever color of your flowers, cover your entire lid up to your brow bone. I went in further up to the brow bone with a darker, more grapey colored eyeshadow. To create a higher crease, I went in with a small crease brush and a dark bluish purplish eyeshadow and swept it back and forth under the brow. Upward and onward with a black shadow in the crease area and on the bridge of the nose to create a contour. Going back over the black shadow with an angled brush and some gel liner. With the few purple shadows I use on my lid, I will go under the bottom lash line. I felt the black needed a little more depth and cleaner lines, so I used a black face paint with a face painting thin brush and cleaned them up. Line the top lash line with liquid liner. And your lower lash line with the black liner as well. So remember your old circle circle dot dot cootie shot rhyme. Now we're going to put a bunch of dots and lines all over our face, anti-cooties. Using our lilac -y or light purple face paint, I am anti-cooting the black area of my makeup and going up the bridge of my nose into my forehead, as well with a dark purple face paint. These are kind of to mimic the spots and lines on my orchids on my face. More dotting around my cheeks with the light purples and the dark purples. Now I'm going back in with a yellow face paint, uh, both a dark yellow and a yellow mix with a white to make it a little brighter over the purple and the purple eyeshadow. I guess this could kind of be like pollen or just little decorations on the flower.
with the other half of the orchid that I cut in half for the top of my eye, I split that one in two and just glued them down by my bottom lash. With a tiny shadow brush, I just blended some frosty bluish lilac shadow on the bottom lash. Alright, just in time for some more dots! Drag them down, drag them in a frown, drag them around your cheeks, around your mouth, anywhere you please. Okay, so I really wanted to drive it home with me being a flower, so I'm creating an incorporation of petals from my forehead into the rolls of my hair. First I lined it with an angled brush with some eyeshadow, and then went back in and highlighted with some white face paint, um, blending it up into my hair. Alright, so here's your basic one stroke petal painting. I double loaded a flat face painting brush with two different colors, a lilac and purple and a white, and wiggled it on up. I wanted to create some separation and depth between the petals and my face, so I used an angle brush with some gray shadow and created some shadows. Oh, you guessed it, more dots! Some dark purple, some light purple, and some yellow thrown in again for some good measure. With some white face paint, I used the face paint instead of the foundation, it's a little more opaque and brighter, um, creating like a tiny doll bow mouth. So I mixed some dark purple, light purple, and a little bit of white to create this ombre-y, purple-y color, and uh, created a little pout in the middle of the white. Outline the lips a little further with white face paint again and a small pointed face painting brush. purple dots because fig lips are on fleek, right? That's what the kids are saying nowadays, right? Some purple shadow with a small brush around the lips for more dimension. And further this seasonal allergy look with lots and lots of yellow and purple and light purple chicken pox dots. I drew mine down the mouth and around the chin. Some more white foundation around the chest and the shoulders to blend out the look in the rest of the body. And we're back at it again with the double sided brush color. So we're creating orchids on the chest, double loading a brush with whatever colors you choose. I chose dark purples, light purples, and white and I'm just wiggling it up, pivoting, and then coming back around on a small angle. Afterward, using a small face painting brush, I'm just adding the details in a dark purple and more pollen-like dots and features. So with an angled blush brush, and some dark purple eyeshadow. I just highlighted my clavicles and the hollows and just gave a little more color and highlight. I also took it up to my cheeks to give a little more of an angled and chiseled look to the face. Using whatever adhesive you choose, glue a flower to your shoulder to give more full dimension. I wanted to sharpen up and clean any edges, 
So I went in with a foundation brush and some white foundation. All right, finishing touches. Using a frosty bluish lavender shadow that I had done under my lower lash, I just create some highlights around my face. And what's a flower without some foliage in her weave? Throw in some extra leaves and some seedlings. Ah, uh, these chest flowers weren't dimensional enough. I wanted to give them some shadow and some shade, so with the gray shadow again and a fluffy brush, outline the edges. Mm -hmm. 